attention. All hints and tips shown here are personal experiences and serve as support. The repair is at your own risk. Hint repairing tools. All repairing tools used by us in the video can be found in our webshop. Just follow the links in the video description. Since the battery cover is glued extremely strong and also glazed, we can only recommend this repair for professionals. There is a high risk that the battery cover breaks when opening. Please write us in the comments on how difficult you felt the repair. If you only want to replace the battery of your Galaxy S9, then watch this video from our playlist. Samsung Galaxy S9 – Battery Replacement Removing the back cover Power of the device Remove the SIM card tray Heat the battery cover along its edges. Attention! The battery cover is glued extremely strong. Take a lot of time for levering and warm the battery cover in between over and over again. Otherwise, you will risk damaging the battery cover. Fix the suction cup in the lower area of the battery cover. Use a thin and flexible metal spudger to lever out the battery cover. Be very careful to prevent damaging the sensitive glass cover. Try to slide the metal spudger between battery cover and LCD screen unit while simultaneously pulling on the suction cup. Start in the lower area of the LCD screen. As soon as you succeed with opening the battery cover a gap wide, you can insert one of the plectrum tools as a placeholder. Then, take several plectrum tools to release the adhesive once around the whole LCD screen. Heat again and again in between. If needed, you can use additionally a plastic spudger to release the adhesive. As soon as the adhesive is released completely, you can clap the battery carefully to the right side. Hint. First, the battery cover still remains connected to the LCD screen via the flex cable of the fingerprint sensor. Simply loosen the connector on the underside of the battery cover to disconnect this flex cable. In our case, the connector has already removed by itself. Removing the antennas and the coverings. Remove in total 15 screws from the plastic coverings, from the antenna module and from the NFC antenna. Release the antenna module carefully with the tweezer and remove it. Then remove the lateral plastic covering as well as the NFC antenna. Removing the battery. Release the battery connector with the help of the spudger. Heat the battery from the front side of the LCD screen slightly. Lever out the battery step by step by using several plectrum tools as well as the metal spudger. Attention! Always start levering on the edge of the screen to prevent damaging the mainboard.
As soon as the adhesive is released completely, you can remove the battery. Removing components from the old LCD screen unit. Release the connector of the front camera and remove the camera module. Release three several connectors from the main board with the help of the spudger. Release the connectors of the two antenna cables with the tweezer. Remove one screw from the mainboard. Raise up the mainboard carefully and simultaneously release it from the lower mainboard to remove it. Hint: If you want to change the main camera, you can do that at this point. Release the camera connector for that purpose and remove the camera from the mainboard. Remove one several screw from the lower mainboard. Release the connector of the earphone jack. Remove four several screws from the lower mainboard. Then you can release the lower mainboard carefully. Remove the earphone jack in the first step and then do also remove the lower mainboard. Release the Vibra motor carefully with the tweezer and remove it. Then remove the sensor module with the help of the spudger. Transferring components to the new LCD screen unit. Insert the sensor module and fix it by pushing it solid with the spudger. Insert the lower mainboard and push it slightly until it is locked in completely. Do also insert the earphone jack and fix it by pushing it slightly. Thread the antenna cable into the screen with the help of this budger and push it solid. If you've removed the main camera to replace it, you have to insert and connect the new camera now to the mainboard. Insert the Vibra motor and fix it by pushing it slightly. Link the mainboard with the lower mainboard and then insert it and push it carefully until it is locked in completely.
link the connectors to the mainboard. Do also link the antenna cables to the mainboard. Fix one screw on the mainboard. Insert the front camera module and push it slightly. Fix five screws on the lower mainboard. Testing the new LCD screen for functionality. Lay down the battery loosened to the LCD screen unit and connect it. Power on the LCD screen unit and test it for functionality. Power off the device. Release the battery connector and remove the battery. Fixing the battery. Hint, if you like to reuse the old battery, you can also reuse the adhesive if it still sticks sufficiently. For fixing new batteries, we suggest using the original battery adhesive for the Galaxy S9 or alternatively double-faced universal adhesive. Link the battery connector while inserting the battery and push the battery solid with a cloth. Fixing the antennas and the coverings. Insert the antenna module simultaneously with the lateral covering and push both slightly. Insert the plastic covering including the NFC antenna and push it solid until it is locked in completely. Fix the plastic coverings as well as the antennas with 15 screws. Closing the device. Insert the SIM card tray. Hint. We suggest using the original adhesive for fixing the battery cover. Since this was not available as we made the video, we reused the old adhesive. Hold the battery cover beside the LCD screen unit to link the connector of the fingerprint sensor. Lay down the battery cover to the LCD screen unit and adjust it by orientating on the camera. Fix the battery cover by pushing with a cloth. Power on the device and test it for functionality.
power of the device.